The team is on its way, I think, about five minutes, so hang in there. I know it's hot. Thanks for... Well, you know what? The anticipation uh, matters, so they're going to be here uh, shortly, and then we'll have a great celebration. There, there go the bus. The bus is coming around. And we love the Bulldogs, right? They are the hammer. Yes, we love Hamilton. Bulldogs. Let's go, Bulldogs. Let's go, Bulldogs. Let's go, Bulldogs. Jeez, I gotta put on my radio voice. I'm not that loud. Uh, they're here shortly, so uh, hang in there, folks, and we'll have a great celebration and thank the Bulldogs for an awesome season. Fantastic.
2022 championship celebration. The players and the coaches and the staff you see sitting behind me not only won the Ross, not only won the Bobby Orr, most got the 99, they went to the Memorial Cup and knocked off the other two league champions. These guys are national champions. Let's go to our mayor, Fred Eisenberger. Fred, please come up. Thank you for the standing ovation. Much appreciated. Uh, let me just formally first do, before we get started, do the uh, City of Hamilton land acknowledgement that the uh, City of Hamilton is situated on the traditional territory of the Erie Neutral, Hurawandat, Haudenosaunee and Mississaugas, and this land is covered by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant, which was an agreement between the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe to care and share for the resources around the Great Lakes. And we further acknowledge that the land is covered by the Between the Lakes Purchase, 1792, between the Crown and the Mississauga of the Credit First Nation. Today, the City of Hamilton is home to many indigenous peoples from across Turtle Island. And we recognize that we must do more to learn about the rich history of this land so we can be better residents, neighbors, partners, and caretakers. And what a season for the Bulldogs. What, isn't that fantastic? Great for our city, great for our fans, great for our, our hockey, uh, and great for the ownership. Michael Andalar and, uh, and team has done a spectacular job keeping hockey here in Hamilton with the Bulldogs. Michael, thank you so, so very much. And great general manager as well, Steve Steos, former NHLer. And a fantastic coach, Steve. Congratulations to the entire team. And of course, these players played their hearts out uh, throughout the entire season, uh, and especially through the end of the season. The Memorial Cup, as, I, uh, as I'm told, is one of the most difficult uh, championships to win. And they played their heart out, and in my mind, they are winners, whether they won the last night or not. Top of the league in my eyes. We are champions for sure. And uh, as I mentioned a little, a little while ago, there's one individual, a great hockey booster, uh, a great Hamilton booster, in fact, that has been here since uh, 2002, supporting hockey in our community and making the investments to keep it uh, 
alive and well and good for the fans to enjoy. Uh, he has made uh, some great contributions in the OHL as well as making some in the NHL as well. So without any uh, delay, uh, the owner of the Bulldogs and the great champion that has continued to make uh, Hamilton a great hockey town, let's hear it from Michael Andelauer. Michael. Thank you, man. I think that's uh, that's three championships that you've uh, that you've been able to witness. Yeah. Uh, 2007 with the Calder Cup, and 2018. How do I do this? Closer. Okay, here we go. Um, yes. Uh, you know what? The one thing is, uh, Mr. Mayor, is that uh, this this team has been incredible ambassadors to this city. Uh, for those of you, uh, you know they. You've seen it on national TV. Hamilton was showcased from coast to coast for the last month. And uh, they typify what the city's all about, about hard work, resilience, dedication, passion, character. And they showcase that, not only beating Windsor and became, becoming Ontario Hockey League champions, but also beating the Western Hockey League champion, eliminating them in the Memorial Cup. And uh, for that, I'm so proud of these guys. Um, you know what? How about them Bulldogs, eh? Yeah! You know, they say it takes a village to uh, raise a child. And it takes, it took a lot to make this, these champions. They did the, they, they did the work, we opened the doors, but the support that they got from the architect who, made, who brought this team together, Steve Steos, our general manager. That's two championships in the last three seasons, I might add. And uh, to our amazing coaches, their amazing communicators and teachers, Jay, Andreas, Supi, where are they? Nodge. Amazing coaching staff. I want to thank them. Our support staff. 90, 95 games we played this year. The medical team was pretty busy, I could say. Uh, our equipment managers and all. And I wanted a special thanks to the billet parents. The billet parents who took care of these young men from September right till Canada Day, basically. I want to thank them. They're Hamiltonians, they care. For that, I'm so grateful. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say, uh, my God, game seven against Windsor. There was a seventh man in the stands, and it was you, you fans, you supported our team. We love it, we saw it at the outdoor game, we saw it all throughout the season. Thank you so much for your support. That's why hockey is in Hamilton, because of you. Thanks so much. And it's here in Hamilton because of Michael Arrow. He needs a much, much bigger hand than that. So uh, thank you, Michael. So uh, I also want to acknowledge, uh, and I, she's, not, she's not a player. Uh, and she's not uh, necessarily the general manager, but she is a, uh, an integral part of the team. And I, I just want to acknowledge Peggy Chapman, who uh, keeps us informed uh, and uh, connected to, uh, to the entire organization. Thank you, Peggy. Doing great work. It's also my pleasure to introduce uh, a guy that uh, has been here a long while now, former NHLer, uh, then a coach here in Hamilton, now general manager. He uh, put this team together. They all look a little tired, don't you think? No. Might have been the late flight or the beer pops on the way in, I'm not sure. But uh, he's put this team together and he's put his heart and, heart and soul into it. And Steve Steos has done a terrific job of leading this team to successive victories each and every year that he's been here. So, big hand for Steve Steos. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I think I'm going to be brief, uh, a little bit too emotional. Um, 
This is the most special team that I've ever been around in hockey. In, as in playing days, coaching, anything, I've got. I have never seen a group play with the one word that comes to mind is courage. And each and every night, they continue to push themselves and each other and made us so damn proud every night. So I really want to acknowledge the players and thank them. What a special year. Um, seven years ago, I was working with the Toronto Maple Leafs and Mike Landlauer came to me. <laughs> yeah. I made the right choice, right? But a special person, uh, Michael Andlauer, came, and I know Mr. Mayor talked a little bit about this guy, but uh, um, he's the reason I'm here. He's, he's the inspiration behind the Hamilton Bulldogs. Uh, he inspires me to work and make sure that this, this team is best in class. Um, and for the fans to be able to enjoy quality hockey, create the right environment for these players, watch them grow and develop into champions like they are. So thank you, Michael. <laughs> Hockey Ops, the commitment and dedication from this coaching staff is unparalleled. Um, if you can only see when I come in in the mornings, I think I'm early, but they're in there ahead of me. Um, a couple of them in the gym, one not so much. Let's do a video. I won't say who. Um, but thank you guys for your incredible commitment. I won't go through each and every one of them, but uh, Jay McKeon, Andreas Carlson, Andrew Campbell, Chris Whalen, uh, it goes on and on about the commitment that uh, these guys have put into this, this team. Good shows. Front office staff, who you fans get to know, but our players just see on the periphery, but the amount of work that they've put in, Jeff Ilya, Stefano Reale, Peggy Chapman, and Justin Ishmael, who went above and beyond in, uh, in St. John for us. I can go down the list, uh, Storm Harding, uh, and a member of the team who came on just a couple years ago, but the voice of the and he wants to be the face, but the voice of the Hamilton Bulldogs, Reed Duffy as well. So thank you guys for your work. And I think lastly to the fans, uh, I was born and raised in this city. Uh, I had a vision, well, it, Michael and I had a vision of what this would look like and uh, and this is it, championships in our hometown, Steel Town. So thank you fans, I hope you enjoyed our team. Uh, we'll be back here again soon, thank you. Uh, thank you, Steve. If I'm the face of this organization, we have big problems. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Next up, he's led us to this point. One of the most incredible coaches I've ever had the honor to be around. Over 800 games in the National Hockey League, and now an OHL champion, Jay McKee. Hey, Reed. Uh, thanks everybody for coming out. Uh, the support all year has been amazing. Um, we we broke a lot of records this year. Franchise wins, uh, D scoring points. Um, I'm sure Moe's streak to the playoffs and Memorial Cup was a record. Um, we also, you guys right in front of me, and, and many of your friends and uh, former or fans as well, broke the all-time record for attendance at an OHL playoff game. So. That's one that you should all be proud of, and, and we thank you for your support. Uh, I have to thank Michael and Steve, obviously, for uh, entrusting myself and my staff with this team. Um, probably one of the easiest jobs we, we've ever had with this group of kids. Incredibly coachable, dedicated, passionate, competitive. Um, just an incredible group 
to work with. And if you look look back at what they've done, we've talked about how they beat the WHL champions, the Q champions, they made it to the Memorial Cup Finals, but if you really look back at how they did it, uh, it it's what amazes me most. Through a lot of injuries throughout the season, uh, a lot of key guys, maybe around 160 man games lost, uh, to finish first overall in an incredibly competitive league is, is really impressive. To go into the playoffs, play the Peterborough Peets in round one, uh, probably the most physical series of hockey that I've seen at this level, or maybe any level of hockey. Uh, these, this group of kids behind me went out and swept that team. Uh, we go in, we go. That's, that was one challenge to stand up and play a physical game, which they did. They pushed right back and, and gave it to Peterborough on the score sheet and uh, physically. We play Mississauga in round two, one of the best defensive teams in the league all season. We go in there, we find ways to score, we sweep that team. Yeah. Next up, we had North Bay, one of the most offensive teams in our league, one of the best offensive teams in the CHL, and this group behind me found a way to shut them down four straight, swept that team. And then to go on to the, the uh, championship round against the second best team in the OHL, a very well-rounded, good defensive, good offensive, league's top scorer, uh, to find a way after being down 2-1, uh, winning an OT, going to game seven, and, and I'll say it, without the support that we had from you fans, these kids, when they came out for warm-up, came out for the game, looked around, saw the second bowl open, that was, uh, it was an emotional moment. So thank you for, for helping push these guys to a huge 6-1 win there. So I'll say it again, I said it in St. John, to go there in the Memorial Cup, a team that was uh, very banged up, missing our captain, heart and soul guy in the team. We had a lot of heart and soul guys, but uh, another four, five, six guys playing through injury. Uh, to knock out the WHL champions, the Q champions, these guys behind me, these players, they are the champions of champions. And uh, after the game, when uh, Steve st talked to the team, uh, I, I love the line he said, that these players here went out, they, they battled through a couple months, they won a championship, and lost the tournament. So these guys will forever be champions in Hamilton Bulldogs. Thank you. The champions of champions, and they were led by a gentleman sitting behind me, wearing the C on his chest. One of the best captains the Hamilton Bulldogs have ever had. Number 21, Colton Kammer. This is incredible, uh, seeing all you guys here, what a year it's been. Um, I can't say enough good things about uh, these guys behind me. Uh, we've, we've all became brothers uh, over this season. Um, it's a very special group, it's hard not to get emotional up here, uh, but we'll all be family for life and you guys are a part of that. Um, so let's give a round of applause for these guys to start off. Now the second thing I'll say to get to you guys is, is you guys are real lucky to have Steve Stados, Mike Anlau running this team. Uh, it's, it's, it's not a coincidence to, to win two championships in three years. Uh, and it all starts from these guys and the culture that they've built um, from head to bottom. So let's give a round of applause to those guys. When you think about our year uh, and really sit back to reflect on it, all the special things we've done from uh, from the outdoor game to, to winning the, the regular season to uh, our game seven win against Windsor to win the league. Um, it's, it's definitely been a special year, a record year for us, and we'll be down in uh, Hamilton's history books uh, forever. So. Uh, finally, uh, all the fans you guys are the backbone of this team uh, backbone of the city uh, your, your blue collar uh, spirit is what uh, pushed us all year and we can't thank you guys enough
So thank you. That's a tough one to follow. Uh, we'll get the mayor up and we have got some awards for the Hamilton Bulldogs. And if you were with us in 2018, I think you remember what comes next. The guys are going to be awarded special plaques. Uh, I think we should start. CK, I don't want to make you get up again, so. <laughs> one more for the captain, Colton Cameron. <laughs> next up. Well, it's time to release the Kraken. Number 27, Ryan Winterton. The best player in the Ontario Hockey League playoffs. He won the 99. He set a scoring streak that may never be broken. Number nine, Logan Morrison. The most outstanding defenseman in the Ontario Hockey League, the best defenseman in the Canadian Hockey League, and soon to be a pro, no doubt, number 44, Nathan Stales. Draft pick of the Montreal Canadiens, a hat trick in the Eastern Conference Finals, an overtime goal to Memorial Cup, number 19. Jan Mishak. In one of the most difficult atmospheres we played in all season, game four in Windsor, after Nate tied the game, number 10, Gavin White in overtime. Get ready to get loud, because he's headed to California pretty soon. Number 23, Mason McTavish. Joining us from the Sudbury Wolves, the speedster number 17, Giordano Biondi. I think we need a little law and order around here. Signed by the Montreal Canadiens, the Sheriff, Hamilton's own number eight, Arbor Jackeye. Number 39 made an incredible return into the playoffs and into the Memorial Cup, Lawson Shark. Uh, does anybody remember the fight in the first series against Peterborough? Yes, yeah, yeah. Connor Smith gets just dropped. Yeah, yeah, well, number 22, Ryan Humphreys, the man that did it. Yeah. Hamilton's own number 93, Patrick Thomas. We go back-to-back -back Huskies again from Hamilton, number 88, Mark Duarte. <laughs> One of the craftiest players on this team, big regular season, number 14, George Diaco. talked about a lot of the leaders on this team. One of the leaders for the next Bulldogs champions, number four, Lucas Moore. I don't think anybody's ever going to forget opening night this season in overtime. The blast from the point came from number two from the Dallas Stars, Artem Grushnikov. Number 
number 75 stepped into the playoffs and played some big minutes. Jorian Donovan. <laughs> next up, the Bulldogs' next generation sniper, number 92, Cole Brown. <laughs> The Hamilton Bulldogs had an incredible one-two punch in goal this year. He went 19 and two. Number 45, Mateo Drobak. <laughs> Joined us halfway through the year, became a tower of power on the blue line, number three. Noah Van Vliet. Another gentleman who joined us in this season, he's about nine feet tall. Number 25, Brendan Anderson. Another Hamilton boy, number 20, Ethan Sims, welcome home. We had drawback moments ago. This young man, I don't care what the award said, the best goaltender in the Ontario Hockey League, the best goaltender in the Canadian Hockey League, number 33, marvelous Marco Cosentini. champions for the Bulldogs, number 81, Braden O'Keefe. He got a shutout in his first ever OHL game. What more do you need to say? Number 29, Tristan Malba. Until this season, only one Bulldog had ever scored more than 40 goals. Now there's two. Number 13, Avery Hayes. And finally again, our next group of leaders, you're gonna see them a lot next season. Number seven, Noah Roberts. Uh, this is this is really a fun part of my job because I get to say thank you to two people who have given me an opportunity to live out my absolute dream and be the voice of this hockey club. Michael Landlauer and Steve Steos, thank you guys. Next up, coaching staff. Yeah. We'll get Jay McKee, Andreas Carlson, and Andrew Campbell all up here. Chris Whalen, where's Chris? Next up, Justin Ishmael's coming up. Justin, come on, come on, don't be shy. There you go. <laughs> Goaltending coach Nick Ranger. Yeah. 
And he'll be joined by assistant goaltending coach. He's hiding in the back there. Pat DiPronio. Pat, come on. Two guys who do an incredible job to keep this Bulldogs team healthy and rolling. J.P. Lasiak, Brad Jacklin. Come on up, guys. They bailed out on us. What are they doing? What are those guys doing? In the back, the two guys who don't get nearly enough credit as, as they should. The guys talked about them earlier. Long hours, late nights, early mornings, everything that they do for our players. Danny Bushy and Chris Cook are incredible equipment staff. These guys are the best of the best of the best. Our medical staff, Dr. Jan, Dr. Steve, and Doc Rob. Guys, an incredible season. Thank you for keeping our boys healthy and running for 90 plus games, nearly 100. <laughs> Strength and conditioning coach, I've got to know him pretty well, Justin Brooks. Again, another great job. Steve, I haven't seen him around. Is Matt Turek here? Matt Turek is not here. He's making his way back from St. John. Uh, hopefully he gets to listen to this. Matt Turk, our director of player personnel. There are very few more dedicated in the Ontario Hockey League. What an incredible person. And for everything for Matt Turk does for us. Thanks, Matt. I'm sure we'll get, uh, get the card to you here shortly. <laughs> Guys, that brings us to the end of our celebration for the championship. One more time, your 2022 Hamilton Bulldogs! And uh, for the voice of the Bulldogs, Reed Duffy, well done. We'll see you again in September. We're looking for number three in short order.